The annual Halloween at the market makes its return, bringing tons of fun for the community to enjoy. WBBJ 7 Eyewitness News reporter Ryan Brooks joins us live in studio to tell us more about it. Ryan. That's right, Terry. Many children here in the Hub City look forward to this trunk or treat and put their best costumes to the test. Children dressed in their best Halloween costumes and visited vehicles of local businesses to receive candy. Downtown Jackson, Jackson Parks and Rec, and the Jackson Walk has collaborated on making this a community-wide event. Uplifting the community is the number one priority, which they hope is demonstrated in their efforts to provide safe, family-friendly events in the Hub City. Our goal is to bring everyone together, and like I said, this is a free community event, and we're all after the same goal, which is to have fun in a safe environment. This year, secret judges are incorporated to hand out medals for the costume contest, and they have a special surprise for those who volunteer their trunk. We will be going around and looking at each trunk to see how much work and fun that they put in it, and there will be a, a prize for the best trunk. Last year, more than 2,300 children participated, and they expect an even bigger turnout for this year's Halloween at the market. This event was important for organizers to host so kids can remain safe. We just want to thank the entire city of Jackson for being available and supportive of these free community events. Food trucks were available for families to stop by and grab a bite to eat after getting their candy with live entertainment by DJ Vaughn. Live in studio, Ryan Brooks, WBBJ7 Eyewitness News.